Hey guys, so update, I'm in Singapore. I arrived in Singapore around 11 at night, so for the sake of convenience, I booked a room at the airport's hotel called Yotel Air. And for perspective, one night in this hotel costs more than a full week in an Airbnb in Bali or Thailand. Hey y'all, it's Thomasina, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a 24 hours in Singapore vlog. My flight was delayed from Bali, so I arrived in Singapore around 11.30. I was supposed to get here at like 10, but I arrived at like 11.30, so it is time for bed. I'm exhausted. I feel like I've been running on E for like the last two weeks. I didn't realize how exhausting traveling can be. I think this is my first like back to back to back to back to back stint of traveling. Mind you, I'm having an amazing time, but I am really, really tired. So I know when I do eventually get back to America, like nobody talked to me for like the first month. I need I need all that time to regenerate my energy. But anyways, I am en route to Thailand. I'm en route to Phuket, Thailand. But when I was booking my flights, I saw a layover option for Singapore and I figure why not spend the day in Singapore? So here we are. Um, I am staying in the lovely Yotel Air, which is uh, one of the hotel, um, or I think maybe the only but it is a hotel accommodation in uh, the Jewel, which is a part of the Singapore um, airport in Terminal 1. So I just booked a room for the night here. It's really, really nice. It is going on 1 o'clock in the morning, um, and there's so much to do. As soon as I get to Phuket, I have a photo shoot, so I really need to just shave my entire body and cut my hair. But... Instead, I booked a Singapore city tour um, in the morning. So I don't know if you guys know, but if you have a layover that is longer than like five hours um, here in Singapore, you have the option to book like a free um, tour. They have many, many options. You could do like a tour of the airport because it is massive. You could do a, a tour of like the city. You could do a tour of like architecture. So I chose to do a tour of the city. I believe it's a two hour tour. So that gives me enough time to like see whatever they're going to show me and take my pictures and everything and then get back to board my next flight. So that's what we're doing in the morning. Hopefully I can wake up in time because I think I have to check in for that tour 90 minutes beforehand. But I really, really need to get some sleep. Um, so I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. Oh, it's actually Saturday. <laughs> I've hopped through too many time zones, but I never really know what day it is anyway. But it's 9 a.m. I've been up since around 7 a.m. Took a amazing shower, shaved my entire body. I still need a haircut, but we'll talk about that at another time. Went downstairs for breakfast and I'm ready to go. I'm feeling so good. I'm feeling so well rested. I was a little bit nervous that I wasn't going to be able to wake up this morning and like do the Singapore tour thing or whatever, but I'm up, ready for the day. So I'm going to go ahead and leave just so I can give myself at least an hour to find somewhere to leave my bag and get situated and um, yeah, find my way there because this airport is massive. I don't know if any of you guys have ever had a connecting flight through Singapore or just visited Singapore, but this airport is massive. Let me show you guys. Have you guys ever seen an airport with like a biodome? It's literally a botanical gardens in the airport. This is so beautiful. Okay, change of plans. So I can no longer do the free tour that I booked because I left or I went through immigrations last night to get to Yotel. So even though it's still technically a part of the airport, I had to clear immigration and you can only do that one time. So I couldn't go back in to join the tour group. So I'm gonna go explore Singapore by myself. Um, I'm a little bit nervous for it, which I don't know why because I solo travel all the time. So right now I am going to my terminal to drop off this heavy book bag and then I'm just gonna call a car. And she gave me like a central point, like there's a park and a central point, it's like walkable. All right, you guys, I have successfully dropped off my bag and I just called a car. Um, so they don't use Uber or Lyft here, they use the app called Grab. So I feel like it was just cheaper and easier because I don't have cash. So I'm just using whatever method allows me to use my card. 
and so grab my card is already on there from um, Bali the lady at the ticket counter the information desk was literally so helpful I asked her if um, you know I could book a private tour or I could just like tour Singapore on my own and she gave me like I said she gave me like a central location that's walkable and a lot of stuff to see in that area so that's what I'm gonna go it's called Merlion Park so it's about 20 it's about 15 US dollars to get a grab car from the airport to there so I'm just waiting on the car but I'll check in with you guys once I get there I'm kind of just walking aimlessly wherever there is a walking path. Um, I know I definitely want to go to the Bay Gardens, but I want to kind of explore a little bit more until I go there. They're open until 2 a.m., which is insane. I'm sure it's stunning at night. Unfortunately, I have to head back to the airport by at least five to give myself time to go through customs again and all that jazz it's beautiful here i feel like i'm living out my crazy rich asians fantasy or dream i love it go out and see the world guys go out and see the world get your passport i ended up passing the free tour bus that i was supposed to be on but i'm actually kind of glad i got to venture out on my own as opposed to doing the organized tour i of course went to see the famous merlion statue i passed several museums and i walked through pretty much all of downtown I was really craving French toast, so I finally found a place that served it. Then I walked over to Gardens by the Bay because I really just wanted to see the infamous super trees. I remember seeing them for the first time in the Crazy Rich Asians movie, and I really wish I could have seen the park at night. You guys, I'm so sad that I won't get to experience this at night. I feel like Singapore is definitely one of those places I'm going to have to come back to because I remember these trees from Crazy Rich Asians. And it just looks so beautiful at night in the movie. Like, I feel like I would have to come back and see it in person. Like, obviously you would have to see this photo in person, but this is kind of what it looks like lit up. It doesn't really do it justice, but yeah, it's beautiful. In addition to the super tree tickets, I also got tickets to the cloud forest and the flower one, but I forgot the name of it. But I think all of these tickets came up to like 50 US dollars. Then I went to the mall, which was super luxurious. And I love this Venice inspired installation. You guys, I'm in so much pain and I'm so tired after walking all day. I land in Phuket around 10 or 11. I'll probably get to my place by 11.30 and I still have to cut my hair and shower. So I should be in bed by 1.30 at the latest. All right guys, that about wraps it up for my 24 hours in Singapore. It was a fun day, but an exhausting day and I'm ready to get to a bed as soon as possible. If you guys have been enjoying the travel vlogs and you wanna see what life is like in Thailand, I'll be going to Phuket and Bangkok, so be sure to tune in. Also, I recognize that travel vlogging may not be my strong suit, so if you guys have any feedback, things you wanna see more of, things I could be doing better, just let me know in the comments, it's okay. I take criticism well, but until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!